Hey guys and welcome to my No Monkey Knowledge Elite Blunarius Guide. First of all, place down Obin. Now turn off auto start and place down your first farm and upgrade your first farm to increase the greater production. Place down an engineer monkey for extra popping power and place down one more greater production farm. Upgrade your engineer monkey to oversized nails, pin and double gun. And you can also use Oban's ability whenever you need to. Place down two more greater production farms. Upgrade one of your farms now to a marketplace. Place down a new engineer monkey and upgrade your new engineer monkey to cleansing foam and target your cleansing foam as far to the top as possible. Upgrade your first engineer monkey to larger service area and balloon trap and also target your balloon trap as far to the top as possible. Now keep upgrading all of your farms to marketplace. In round 39 placed on a 302 boomerang monkey as extra defense in the bag. Against tier 1, place down a ninja monkey and upgrade your ninja monkey to ninja discipline and sticky bomb. Now upgrade your boomerang monkey to more glaives. Place down an alchemist as far to the right as possible and upgrade your alchemist to berserker brew and perishing potions. For extra defense, place down a 4 to 0 tech shooter next to your alchemist. Because the balloons are very fast this week, we need actually a little bit more defense, so place down one more 402 boomerang monkey on top of the stone in the middle. At this point, you can start placing down as many merchantman boats as possible.
after defeating tier 1, you can sell your boomerang monkey in the middle and also your tag shooter. Now keep placing down boats until you run out of space. After you run out of space for boats, upgrade one of your boats to Hotshots, Favor Trade and Trade Empire. Against tier 2, sell your boomerang monkey, place down a druid next to your alchemist and upgrade your druid to hard thorns and also to spirit of the forest. You can also sell your sticky bomb now. Place down a dartling gunner and upgrade your dartling gunner to a 150 MAD. Make sure to use your MAD's ability as much as possible and always aim your MAD against Blunarius. After upgrading your dartling gunner to an MAD, upgrade all of your markets to central marketplaces to buff your boats. Now keep building more and more central marketplaces until you have 10 central marketplaces in total and you can also sell your MAD after defeating tier 2. After 10 central marketplaces, upgrade all of your boats now to favor trade boats.
Against tier 3 we are going for a dart paragon by placing down all tier 5 dart monkeys and also 25 220 dart monkeys as sacrifices. For even more cash, place down two monkey cities, one on the left and one on the right side of the map. Now place down a farm and upgrade your farm to a tier 5 banana central and also make sure to ultra boost your tier 5 banana central farm as much as possible. Now keep placing down 4 to 0 BRF farms until you run out of space and upgrade one of your farms to a monkey wall street. Against your 4 for extra safety get yourself a degree 20 boomerang paragon where your spirit of the forest stood. To get a degree 20 boomerang paragon just sacrifice 25 220 boomerang monkeys. This guy is also going to buff our dart paragon so we don't need extra paragons against tier 4. And against tier 5, make sure to prepare a boat paragon, but don't get your boat paragon right away. First of all, sell your dart paragon and get a new dart paragon and make it the highest degree possible by placing down 25 220 dart monkeys. Sacrifice all of them and put as much money as you can in the cash slider. Now get yourself a boat paragon, put all of your leftover money into your boat paragon and that's it. Thank you guys very much for watching, I hope this guide helped you to beat elite Lunarius and if it did please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon, bye!